A sad anniversary this weekend, the disappearance of a local trustee days before Christmas. You may remember this from last year. He was later found in Chippewa Lake, and as Channel 3's Dorsena Drakeford explains tonight, so much of this remains a mystery. That's right, Andrew, and you were covering this from the very beginning. You remember it was a heartbreaking time for his family and those who knew former Marine Brian Macron before his mysterious death. But many vigils and questions later, and we've still gotten nowhere. Heads turned last year when Brian Macron went missing from a town of 6,000. His wife, the last to see him on December 15th. By all accounts, he's a devoted family member. He loves his wife, his three daughters. And for him to just leave the community in this manner is just, it, it, it's out of character for him. That was December 20th. Police say a maintenance worker found Macron's door unlocked at his office in the admin building. The lights were on, the door was unlocked, and they found his office in a state of disarray. Signs of a struggle, blood in the office, his cell phone left behind, and his car found three miles away. On December 21st, days after the husband and father of three went missing, a discovery that could turn the investigation around. Blood in the SUV, still no body until February, two months after the 45 year old was reported missing. Well, maybe as a wife, maybe as a family that wonder whatever happened to him. So I think God brought me here today. A kayaker spotted the body in Chippewa Lake. The coroner's record identifies wounds on Mr. Macron as stab wounds. In April, after weeks of waiting for autopsy results, Medina County Prosecutor Forrest Thompson sat down with WKYC to discuss the grim findings. The report revealed marks on the forearms that could be viewed as defensive, a three-inch gash to the neck that managed to miss the jugular and carotid vessels. Not clear if they were fatal. And the cause of death, still a mystery, and raising the biggest question even one year later. Shouldn't this be treated as a murder? Those are not, that's not my decision to make. That's the investigator's decision to make. We don't have any definitive information to identify that, that I am aware of. Right now, the FBI has Macron's computer. They're processing it in hopes of finding more information to help in this case. On the other hand, we did report this before. Macron's family has hired their own attorney to look into this. Drew, a very, very frustrating situation, I'm sure, for the family. That is certainly one word, anger. It's boiling into that as well. So many questions and these anniversaries, we always re return to what happened and wish we knew more. That's right. Dorsina, thank you for that.